Hi, welcome to the Capture and Captivate video series. I'm Michelle White, this is Greg Karras, and we will be your data capture demo tour guides. In addition to your traditional sales tools, we are going to show you how to demo multi-code data formatting. At the end of this video, you'll see a link where you can click for an additional resource that will help you walk through this demo on your own. <sighs> Greg, I have all these barcodes to scan. There are several barcodes on each box in a specific order, and there are several other barcodes that I'm not supposed to scan at all, and it's taking me forever, and I keep making mistakes. Relax, Michelle. <sighs> We've got a tool to help you with that, and it's called Multicode Formatting, or MDF for short, in case you wanted another three-letter acronym in your life. <laughs> Wonderful, I hate wasting time. I'd like to be able to scan smarter, not harder. So if you've got to scan a bunch of barcodes, and sometimes you have to scan these barcodes in a specific order, say for example a serial number or a part number, data manufacturer, a country code, and another PDF 417. Now the slow way to do it is the way you're doing it, we're trying to scan them all one at a time and mainly not trying to scan other barcodes. Yep, that is as painful as I remember. So zebra scanners have got powerful capabilities. With multi-code data formatting, you can build logic and rules inside the scanner to send only the barcode data that you want and send all that data in a specific order, all in a single trigger pool. Can you also exclude on other unwanted barcodes like country of origin and PDF 417? Absolutely. So in the example that we have here, what we've done is we've set up the scanner uh, with the multi-code data formatting rule to send this serial number barcode first, followed by the part number, then the data manufacturer, and we can discard this country of origin barcode and this PDF 417. Ready to see how this works? Yes! So what we've done is build a configuration for the scanner to do just that. Now what you're going to see on the screen is the scanner just sending this serial number followed by the part number and then the data manufacturer. And so now you can see in the screen that we've sent the serial number, the part number, the data manufacturer, and all the other data is discarded. Oh my gosh, Greg, you have made my life so much easier. Glad to help. <laughs> Thanks for listening to us share our data capture passions. Happy, Happy scanning. scanning. Just for our viewers' information and for the purposes of this video, we've pre-configured the parameter barcodes in one, two, three scan to make for an easier demo. You can check here to download the parameter barcodes to replicate this demonstration, and down here for more information on 123scan.